Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today. The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And today I'm here with a movie that was released this past weekend. Uh, the first film was very successful, a lot of people liked it. I was in the minority on that one and I didn't really enjoy the first film at all. Maybe I'll enjoy this one a little more. You never know, weirder things have happened I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, my review of the 2017 holiday comedy sequel, A Bad Mom's Christmas. Coming up now. The Bad Moms are back and are once again feeling underappreciated this time about all the work that they have to do around Christmas time being overlooked. The trio decide they're going to celebrate the holiday how they want to this year and actually be able to enjoy this Christmas. Their plan, however, is not as easy as it may seem when each woman's mother comes for a holiday visit. Will the moms be able to take back Christmas and deal with the family as well? So what did I think of A Bad Mom's Christmas? I thought it's a horrid comedy sequel. While the original was a hit and had a successful run at the box office, this feels like a very rushed cash grab. The film gives us a plot we've seen time and time again with the dreaded relative holiday visit. Here it certainly feels redundant as each of the main characters are dealing with their mom coming over for a week or so over the holiday, and it also has a very sitcom feel to it. Much like the original, the film tries to shock us, with the mothers cursing and behaving badly, but it definitely feels old hat by now. In fact, the comedy completely missed with me, and I found myself not even laughing once. In between the characters complaining about putting up decorations, cooking and doing all the shopping, they steal a Christmas tree from Lady Foot Locker, get drunk at the mall, give Santa a seductive dance, go to a sky zone and where they face off against their moms in a dodgeball game, and of course hit the strip club. Many of the jokes, which are supposed to be funny, are just kind of weird. Like one of the moms who's sitting in darkness watching her daughter and the daughter's husband sleep or have sex. There's also some eye-rollingly bad slapstick as well, and a number of lame montages. There's also a scene where characters go to a family therapist that feels never-ending. Most of the film is the family members bickering with each other and fighting. Just what we want to see at the holidays, right? <laughs> the film also gets overly sappy as it goes on, with the mothers and daughters learning life lessons and more about each other. Some of these story arcs are better than others, as the only one I was really interested in was Catherine Hahn's character and Susan Sarandon's relationship as well as a romantic subplot for Catherine Hahn's character. The cast stars Mila Kunis as Amy, the mother fed up of pulling off her holiday duties, Kristen Bell as Kiki, the stay-at-home mom of four who wants to enjoy Christmas again, Catherine Hahn as Carla, the wild and crazy single mom who's interested in one of her clients, Christine Baranski as Ruth, Amy's snobbish and insulting mom who feels she's just being lazy for not going all out for the holidays, Cheryl Hines as Sandy, Kiki's overbearing and obsessive mother who feels her daughter is her best friend, and Susan Sarandon as Isis, Carla's mom who only seems to bother when she needs something. Feeling super forced, lazy, and laugh-free, A Bad Mom's Christmas is about as enjoyable as a glass of expired eggnog. Bad Mom's Christmas, you know what rating you're getting? You're getting your Christmas present early, because I only got two words for you. Suck it! Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.